Greetings everyone, this is Fahim. Today we are going to learn about some specific thing in readme file. Now you know whenever we create a project in GitHub or GitLab, we tend to use a specific readme.md file in markdown format. And in that readme file, we normally uh, provide the documentation of our project, some screenshots, installation, or common question and so and so on. Now in those things, Sometimes there comes many types of scenarios where we want to emphasize some specific segment of our portion in the readme file. Let's say, uh, for example, it might be the case that I want the user to emphasize a specific segment from my readme file as a notice, as a caution, as an important thing or something like that. Now, we have that thing in Markdown now. This is not a new thing. If I'm not mistaken, then this thing has been globally available since a few months ago. All right. So this is where I'm going to discuss it, how you can use it in your markdown format as well. So firstly, we are going to talk about note. Note can contain different types of highlighted information that the users should have noticed correctly. All right. So how can we specify that? To specify a note, we will simply use this angle bracket and square bracket and then an exclamatory sign and note capitalized like this. You see instantly the symbol gets changed as a note symbol. And inside here, whatever I want to type, it would uh, be displayed as a note. For example, I can type it something like this. I want the readers to read it carefully as it contains many important docs or something like that. So that's how we can specify note in our markdown file. And to close this note format, we can simply delete this angle bracket. That's it. And after then, or before then, whatever we write, whatever we write, it won't be included in a note like this. So you see, whenever we want to input something in note, we have to start it with this, and we have to use this angle bracket to include the information or the strings inside this note segment like this. So there goes our note. And then we can provide some tip. Tip might contain some data that might make the user successful in some scenarios so how we can start tip simple simply use angle bracket square bracket and an exclamatory sign without any space tip that's it you see the symbol instantly gets changed and here i can provide some tips like use the command line to detect and resolve the errors like this so there goes our tips and to get outside of this tip segment, I can simply remove these square, I mean angle bracket. Then I can give an user a warning. So how I can do that? Simple. I can simply use angle bracket, square bracket, exclamatory sign, warning. Instantly, the symbol changes to warning symbol. So I can write something like don't delete the package.json file like this so there goes my warning segment to get outside of this warning segment i can simply remove this angle bracket and move on lastly i can provide caution caution implies some kind of negative potential sequences of an action so how i can start the caution segment simple i can simply take an angle bracket a space or if i'm not mistaken it also works without any space let's see a square bracket an exclamatory sign then caution yeah it works but i like to keep a space among them it looks nicer in this way right i can simply write like this don't execute the code without commenting the paste cases like this so these specific four 
segments or boxes in Markdown can enhance the readability of any project. And I have checked it in GitHub and it looks really good. And this gets displayed as you are seeing right here. So in this way, you can use this type of things in your Markdown file and you can make your project more attractive along the way. All right. So see you again.